Hi, it's DeWire. It is June 1st, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk boxing. Let's talk Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley in a fight that apparently the rumor is is going to be officially announced shortly. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now by far, Tyron Woodley is going to be the most dangerous opponent Jake Paul has faced. Right? Very dangerous. Understand, Ben Askren uh, is a winner. But he didn't have, at least not on film, great punching power, especially from distance. Askren seemed to be a guy who relied on his core, who relied on getting you to the canvas, out-wrestling you, not out-punching you. Now here you have Woodley, who is a rare freak athlete, right? He has, unlike Askren, he has a great right hand. It's a sudden right hand that on film has ring coverage. In other words, he can be what you think is too far away from you. Then he takes that step, he comes in with the right hand, it still has power. He's able to deliver it from a range of, let's say, five, six feet. That's how it looks on film. That's essential in a boxing match against a sniper, like Jake Paul. Let me also say, too, that Woodley has great timing. By that I mean when you look on film, guys are unprepared for his right hand, right? He's fighting professional fighters, and they're often caught with the right hand without a hand up, with their hands at their side. In other words, there's no tell on the right hand. Woodley's able to just flex, and it's there. Let me add, of course, that Woodley has a black belt in jiu-jitsu. Let me also point out, too, that Woodley, and I have the highlights from some of his fights in my favorites folder here, Woodley can lead with that right hand. He can also counter with the right hand. You'll notice Woodley's a guy who can turn your own work against you. Right? You throw a left hand, he can roll the left hand, then come back with the right hand. Catching an opponent unprepared without defense. Now here's the problem with Woodley, and there are a few of them. First, he's 39 years old. Right, He's not in his prime. In fact, he lost his last four UFC matches. Again, Woodley's 39 years old. Also, Woodley fought out of the UFC's welterweight division. Now, their welterweight division is different than boxing's, right? It's 156 to 170 pounds. The problem is his fight against Jake Paul, who's a gifted puncher. Right? Paul is a gifted puncher. Heavy hands early KOs. His fight against Jake Paul's a fight at 190. So you're dealing with a 39-year-old who's unaccustomed to the weight, who's unaccustomed to the sport, who's on a losing streak, right? who only has seven knockouts in his career. Understand he usually wins his fights by submission or by decision. As great as Woodley looks on film with his KOs, just understand there are not that many of them. So you're dealing with an older fighter who might not have the power of a Jake Scott, especially not at 190 pounds. Let's also talk about, excuse me, Jake Paul. Let's also talk about Jake Paul for a moment. He's 24 years old. 
He's much better than Logan Paul. In other words, Floyd Mayweather is fighting the wrong brother. Right? Jake Paul is much more dangerous than Logan Paul. He's an excellent puncher, but we don't have enough information on him. Why? Because his fights end too early. He's fought three times. His first fight, first round KO. His second fight makes it to the second round, second round KO. His third fight, the Askren fight, first round KO. In other words, you could put together all the Jake Paul films. You'll have no idea about his stamina. You'll have no idea about how he performs when he's hurt, right? Because in his fights, he hasn't looked badly hit, dazed, and confused. In fact, in the Ben Askren fight, I'm not even sure if he was touched. Right? So, Jake Paul, there's a lot of mystery there. I understand some gamblers who like to take advantage of a lack of information, who look at Jake Paul and who might think to themselves, you know what, how do I know this guy's not going to fall down? if one of his fights gets to the third round, right? How do I know this guy is not going to fall apart if a guy takes away his right hand, which is his wrecking ball hand, and forces him to fight left-handed, which is something that a seasoned vet like a Tyron Woodley might be able to pull off, right? Right? So I understand the betting line right now is all over the place. But apparently it's a competitive one. My feeling is if you can get the 24-year-old Jake Paul, who I think's legit, at odds of minus 150 or less. In other words, minus 140, minus 130, you know, uh, plus 110, which I understand he went off at somewhere um, in the last few hours. If you can get Jake Paul at minus 150 or less, I believe that's the side of the play to take. Because again, there's a 15-year age gap here. Right? 15 years. Also, Woodley is fighting in a weight class 20 pounds higher than he's accustomed to. And he's lost his last few fights, right? UFC fights. I like Jake Paul at reasonable odds. If the odds get unreasonable, we'll revisit this before the match. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.